Good morning. <clears throat> I'm getting ready to paint and I'll wait a couple of minutes to see who can stop by. Happy Wednesday. I love our painting Wednesdays. They're so much fun. Hi Jackie. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi Lynn. Hi John. <clears throat> Hello. How fun. So this morning um, I was torn between painting a bird because I need some bird paintings um, for a show. But then when I was looking through my photos, I found one of a, a bee on a flower that I think I'd like to do. Um, and that's what I've ready. So <clears throat> let me turn this around. I'm going to paint that this morning on a six by eight panel. I've been really liking the six by eights. Of course, now I have a whole bunch of square panels that I need to use, but I will get around to it. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Kate. <clears throat> so I'm going to paint this bee this morning. How fun. I love the little pops of color in it. Okay. My coffee. And you know, you can let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to try. I wanted to try and pin like a paint, like put a pin on here that's a live painting video or something. Can I do that? I don't know. I don't know how to do that. Does anybody know how to do that? Never mind. Okay. I just wanted to peek at that. I'm sorry. <clears throat> All right. So I'm getting out my medium, which is getting low here. But I think I have enough for get to get this started. Okay. Yeah. So I've been busy. I have a. Um, This weekend, I'm going to be in D.C. for um, uh, the colon cancer 5K, scope it out 5K, it's called. So if anybody is in D.C., I'd love to see you. Ellen, good morning. Um, and then I have, next weekend, I have a real busy weekend with a workshop and a, and a first Friday opening at a shop in downtown Lancaster. And... I've got a lot to do in the next couple of weeks, but it's all good. Sometimes I get overwhelmed, but it always gets done. Somehow it always gets done, right? Does everybody want to say where you're from? I love hearing where everybody is from. And type that into the comments. It's so fun that people from all over the place pop in. India, wow. Virginia, Ontario, Alabama, Ohio. I should read some of these out. Michigan, because um, I realize when I post these on my YouTube channel, the comments aren't on. Michigan, Minnesota, Portugal, Europe, wow. Oh, how fun. Okay, I'm going to keep going here. Uh -huh. I'm kind of tired this morning. I could just sit here and have coffee with you instead of paint, I think. We could do that. Just get together for coffee. Oh, that sounds fun. One time when, when I was in D.C. for this run, uh, someone that I met online actually came and, and met me at... at the mall where we were shopping for a little bit, which was so cool. I'm watching a four-year-old grandson who has a great, oh, how fun, Ellen. I love that. Oh, I'm sure he's fun. I'm putting him some of my dark darks here so that I don't lose sight of them. It's hard sometimes to keep track of where you want to have dark darks and not let your painting get muddy looking too. Keeping your colors clean, I think is one of the biggest challenges and the most important things to do in your paintings. 
keep it clean. <clears throat> okay. Oh, how are the hens, Donna? The hens are my, my mother-in-law and her sister. I, my mother-in-law lives nearby, and um, she's visiting her sister this week. And so they both said hi. Are they watching me, Donna? And we call them the hens. Oh, they're all behaving. Good. I'm glad they're behaving. You wipe your brush. Yes, I do. That's what I'm doing right now. And it's a little muddy. See, that means I need to throw that away and get out another one. I usually rip, I use Viva paper towels and I get the little select, like the shorter sheets, you know, the, and then I uh, tear them in half too, just not to be wasteful. Um, yeah, I'm always cleaning my brush. It's even trickier, like when I work on my large paintings, to keep my brush clean. It's crazy. Because I'm just dying. I got some new brushes, and they're huge. And like this one. I don't know if I showed you this before. Oh, these two. Look at these two. I can't wait to play with these. I did with the one, but imagine the amount of paint I'll use. See, this one I already used, and it's so pretty. And... Um, just the cost of the paint and, and the time to clean the brushes. Oh my gosh. But one of these days I'll dive in blind ambition and see where it takes me. How can you, yeah. And it doesn't even have glare this morning. How nice is that? Right. Greens down here. You can tell I'm running out of my medium a little bit here. You need an assistant. Yes, Karen, don't I? I do need an assistant. I have to get this to be a little bit more lucrative and then maybe I can do that. Um, I use a medium that I think is sitting here. Um, it's called Zest It. I love it. And you can mix together, I think like linseed oil and, and like some like turpentine, but <clears throat> I'd rather just buy that and not have to Think about mixing it. I love anything that saves a little bit of time. Yeah. Um, so I'm in my dining room actually right now because um, my friend came over and did a photo shoot for me. I don't know if you saw my fo photo that I posted and I changed my profile pic. So she came and did a photo shoot, I guess, two weeks ago. Was it two weeks or one week? I can't remember. Time flies. 
and so I moved everything upstairs because I'm working on this huge painting next to me too and it's so hard to do a painting that size um, downstairs let me show it to you it's coming along look how big that is I'm smushed in this little area because I've been varnishing I've been getting ready for um, a first Friday in an outdoor art show so my house is just full of mess okay. I'm gonna clean up so my palette has my little bits of um, transparency and I'm just gonna clean them all Are any of you planning to paint today? Any day there's time to paint, it's a good day. Um, and now I'm gonna use my fun little um, Arna paint sticks. I love them. Okay, I'm closing up my medium. I have it in this cute little jar. My friend's company is BB's All Naturals. I did the little logo for her and she, um, is a beekeeper and and um, sells honey. She has those cute little jars that I use. If you're coming to my workshop next week, your medium, if you're using my supplies, will be in those cute little jars. Okay. So... Every time I do this, I think I need more RNF paint sticks, but um, I would love to go to an art store like Jerry's Artorama or something and look at the colors in person. I do have a nice collection, see them here. I think I'm more, more in my studio. I'm sorry. I went to um, a presentation at a local, it's called the Lidditz Art Association nearby here last night, and a friend of mine who I hadn't seen in a long, long time named um, Jane Wolf. I can't think of what her handle is on Instagram, arts dancer maybe. She um, demonstrated doing artwork on Yupo, Yupo or Yupo paper, and she was like putting fluid acrylics on it and spraying it with water and and uh, just seeing what happened like letting it free flow and it was really relaxing looking like I don't know that's so it is a little bit how I paint I guess but I think I'm pretty intentional of what I'm doing it would be kind of fun to try an art where you don't even intentionally try to do it you just let it happen and then go from there at each step that just sounds fun I don't know how good I would be at it because I think I'm I like to be in control of what's happening but I think I'd certainly learn from trying it I do love like at times I get to learn from other artists because I feel like every time I watch someone create something I learn a little bit from them and add it to what I do, which is so fun. Sometimes my things get caught in the tubes and they get a little film on top, so I often have to clean the ends off. I've seen somebody do it with an X-Acto knife. I have one here, I should try that. in the background there all right I don't really need a lot more do I this my favorite this color um phthalo green pale it's just gorgeous put that in the background here
Um, what do you think? Do I need a splash of something else fun? I think I'll do blue. Um, I love to add in a little bit of something unexpected too, not always have my colors be so literal. It kind of keeps it fun. It looks like a mess, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, a happy mess. Okay. I think I think that's enough. Do you think that's enough? Do you agree? All right. I'm gonna put these out of my way and think about what what I need to mix here. It's a lot of colors. Um, I think usually when I do this, I'm a little more monochromatic. So I might want more of a blue background. And so I need greens, warm and cool green, warm and cool red, warm and cool yellow. Okay, I'm gonna turn you over here. Oops, Wait, sorry. Okay, warm and cool green. So, do a warm green. And I need some really dark. Right here. I'm going to use Indian yellow for my warm. And I need a little bit more of that. I love this Vasari Indian yellow, it's amazing. And that is warm. I'm gonna, since it's a warm color, I'm gonna use a little bit of this Gamblin, whoops, where am I? Warm white, too. I like playing around with warm and cool whites, too, also. And I don't have any white out there. There's white. Okay, I'm gonna do, I should clean. I always forget to do this. I need to clean my palette knife off so I don't muddy my other colors. I'm gonna clean that off. And now I'm gonna get some warm white and add it to the green. That's good. And then I'm gonna make a cooler green. This is, um, I've been playing around with this a lot lately. It's cobalt green. It's kind of chalkier, a little grayer maybe. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna use a little yellow in that. And so do you see how they're, <clears throat> they're very similar, but this, this is a cooler green and this is a warmer green. that um, even lighter. They're, they look pretty similar, but they still, they still, mm, I feel like I need to make this cooler. So how will I do that? Um, maybe I'll try a little bit of cerulean blue. More of this cobalt green. See if that makes it cooler and put a little, I'm gonna put a little white in it. Well, I'm just gonna keep that because that's a fun color. So. And then I always wanna make like a chart, like when I come up with a color and I love how it looks, I wanna like write it in a book with a little piece of the color, but I honestly don't get around to that. It's on my list. One of these days I'll do it. I need my yellows here, warm, cool yellow, warm, a little bit of warm white, a little bit of cool 
we'll end this one. They look good. Them greens, those pinks aren't going to be too hard to do. I'm going to take, um, this is the, um, um, uh, <laughs> per permanent rose. Is that what it is? Yeah, permanent rose. And I'm going to add a little bit of white. It'll be such a gorgeous color. I think that's good to start. And, um, no, I think that's good. I think that's a good beginning. So I'm going to turn this around. Does anybody have any questions? You, know, you can always ask me. Time for a sip of coffee. Um, now I'm thinking about my brush size. So I really should do my best to do most of it with this number 10 Rosemary Eclipse. It is, I love this brush. I bought a new one, it's an inch. And then the next size that I use a lot is a Monarch 14. Look how different they are. But I find that if I use the bigger brush, at least in the beginning, it, it, keeps, it keeps my brush strokes looser. Um, I love when you can see the brush strokes, so. That's where we're going to start, and if I need to go in for some detail, like, you know, in this, in this area, I can use the smaller brush. So, I'm going to start cleaning it off a little bit more because I was using it for my trance. See how dirty it is? I got that much already. So I just wiggle it. Wiggle it. Okay. And then this um, layer, I really don't use um <clears throat> I don't what don't I use I can't even think and talk this morning I don't use uh <coughs> any medium unless I unless it's whoop, I got it on my bowl I have my paints in this cool glass bowl over here but I keep bumping into it. it's gonna not be so pretty anymore soon but they looked beautiful in there for the photo shoot So I want, I'm going to do cool shadows and warm highlights. Cool shadows and warm highlights. So I do have to think about those things. I like to try and let it happen naturally and not overthink, but I still do think about it. Sometimes I'll do warm shadows, cool highlights, cool highlights, warm shadows, but I try to, not a lot, like I don't think about it the entire time I'm painting, but just to get started. I think it helps to push and pull things forward and back a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of color in the background here. I'm adding in a little little bit behind here so that um, then when I go in and put detail and if I have to go back and, and do the background, sometimes it gets um, muddy in between. So I like to have the background down because I can adjust it a little bit, but um, I love how it kind of goes a little bit from purple to a lighter blue there.
whoops, one second here. Actually, a little dark, dark red in the center there. I can add that in here. It's already coming together. turn on the music today. I like to have a little bit of music in the background when I'm painting. It's just relaxing. The whole process of painting is relaxing. anybody have any questions um, I need to put a little bit of my well, my background colors getting a little muddy here Sorry, I'm deep in thought here. Um, is there anything else you'd like to know? get out a little bit more of my blue that I'm using in my background. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to put in some, I'm going to do a little bit of that blue here. That's what I wanted to do it right here. I feel like that's a little bit brown right there above his head. I do that. I like the time when I wish I <clears throat> could use more than one brush. I'd use a light brush and a dark brush because, but I don't because I'm gonna be finished and heading to work as soon as we finish here. And if I have too many brushes to clean, it just takes me too much time. And that works. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna add a little dark in here to his little shoulder. Soften this a little bit. <clears throat> um, 
when I have those RNF paint sticks, it just it, it really blends so nicely. red right here on his arm or whatever it is and a little red on his front it's beautiful colors there. <clears throat> All right. And I can put in <clears throat> some of the warmer greens. Okay, now I'm making a mess with my brush, so I think I need a clean brush. My brushes need <clears throat> deep cleaning. I don't even know if I can get this one going. All right, never mind that. Maybe I think I just need some new brushes. together. Oh my gosh, <clears throat> I'm being so quiet today. Um, now I'm looking, I'm thinking that, what's the matter with it? Um, I'm not sure. I think I need more darks. I don't know that I do. Hmm. Also, I'm 
something. This is in shadow and I need a little green right there. And I think, um, hmm. having a little trouble having that look right. <clears throat> I think I need some more dark darks in underneath here. And I have to remember I'm trying not to um, fuss with things. Just put down a brush stroke and leave it. Now, does it look like the sunlight's hitting? <clears throat> it mostly does. Um, I don't know quite what I'm thinking here. Well, I think I need to add in some detail here that will maybe help me know what I'm thinking. <laughs> um, I'm going to put these, whoops. Maybe that's coming too. <clears throat> I don't like that hard edge right there, so let's get rid of that. Yeah, I wonder, is my background too flat? Maybe that's what's not working for me. Is my background too... What do you think? Do we need polka dots? Is that too random? <clears throat> I always think any day is a good day for polka dots. Hmm. 
I'm just not sure. I'm not quite happy with it and I'm not sure why. Maybe it is the background. Um, <clears throat> any thoughts on that? I think I'm happy with it. <clears throat> um, I do love the colors. There's all kinds of blues and purples in this dark area right here. They're really pretty. <clears throat> Okay, I'm almost ready, I think. Oh, that's helping. Isn't that helping? That's helping a lot, I think. Um, sometimes I find when I'm painting that <clears throat> if there's color just in one area of the painting and, and it doesn't carry through anywhere else, it gets um disjointed or something I don't it just doesn't something's the matter and I think adding in <clears throat> some of those yellows that were over here in the body <clears throat> like really helped to uh <clears throat> make it more cohesive you know a little kiss of Kind of sexy, light, 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 and I think good. much better. <clears throat> <clears throat> I think I'm good. I'm just trying to decide if I want polka dots in the background. Maybe that's too random. <clears throat>
I'm just looking at it through through the camera. I think I'm happy with it. Okay, I am gonna sign it. Gotta move my palette out of the way. Maybe right here. Call it finished. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's how it looks. And oh, here's my palette. I'll turn this around. So thanks for stopping by. And I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday. And I'll do this again next week. If there's anything in particular you'd like to see me paint, um, just let me know. I'm open to anything. So have a great day. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Thanks for coming.